Hello everyone and uh, welcome to another After Effects tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to make this rotating globe in After Effects. So let's get started. Hey what's going on? Welcome to another After Effects tutorial. If this is your first time here and you want to learn After Effects and motion graphics, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Let's start with new composition and uh, 1080p hit ok I will right click here new solid and uh, I will make a background and then let's import our world map and uh, you can find it here uh, just go to google map and uh, write like continent png and uh, it's under uh, wikimedia you can use it so right click here save image as and uh, save it I will import my uh, texture Im import image continent and uh, I will drag the continent file to my composition and then right click effect and uh, simulation CC ball action and uh, just we will change the ball size to something like 40 so we get these dots and uh, again I will right click here and uh, add effect generate fill and I will choose white color to make it clear again I will right click here and add uh, effect perspective and uh, CC sphere okay now we have our globe so let's make the radius to something like 300 50 okay and I will drag the fill effect under the sphere rotation to cancel the lighting and uh, the shading okay so I will drag it here and uh, we have the globe ready okay so let's rotate the sphere we will close the ball action and I will open the CC sphere open the rotation and with alt key pressed click on the rotation y and we will write our expression time time 150 and now we have our world uh, rotating so as you can see here we need to make the the back less transparent like our example here so let's see here we have the frontal uh, globe is clear and the uh, the the back one is not clear so how to do this one i will go here to the cc sphere and in the render i will choose the inside okay and now we will just have the inside part okay so let's duplicate the the globe with ctrl d to get another layer and I will choose I will change the render to outside okay now hit in the keyboard to reveal the opacity and set it to 10% so now we have something like this so let's reverse it I will set this one this I will call it to outside and I will set the inside to 10% it's rotating fast so we need to slow it down and uh, for that I will select both layers and uh, hit EE two times and then I will change the 150 to something like 80 and here also 80 and now we have a slower version okay maybe you can uh, set it to half or quarter for uh, faster viewing let's add the lines and uh, what do we have we have two lines here so to do that just click in the pen tool and uh, make one point here and uh, one more here and uh, remove the fill and set the this truck to something like 5 pixel okay now select the 
line and uh, hit ctrl D to duplicate it I will move it with the keyboard here now I will add two spheres I will select the ellipse tool and uh, make this small sphere and uh, I will choose fill and I don't need this track again white and uh, I will change the anchor point to the center we'll set it here let's change the anchor point to the center so with the control key selected uh, just drag it it will snap automatically to the center control D to duplicate it and I will move it right here and then we'll add our circles so again I will hit the ellipse tool and uh, draw a circle and I will remove the fill and add the stroke something like 5 and uh, let's align it to the center let's move the dot here and maybe this one here I'm, I will move the line also like this and the left line there now we have this um, circle I will uh, hit ctrl D to duplicate it and I will make make it larger something like this and uh, okay so now let's select the first circle and uh, I will open the layer I will add a trim path open the trim path go to the beginning and uh, I will click on the stopwatch here to make a keyframe and I will move it here and I will write zero and then we have uh, something like this open the ellipse open the stroke and uh, set the line cap to round and uh, also the line join to round to get this nice uh, nice stroke go to the offset and uh, set a keyframe there and uh, get back here and maybe set it to minus 40 for example and we will see it moving so like minus 90 and we will get this uh, kind of nice moving effect we can also play with the keyframes and uh, I can drag the keyframe of the end to something like this and it will be this way maybe we can add uh, more offset okay and uh, like this we will get this effect or maybe we can add another turn like this so we win we will have one point here one keyframe here one keyframe here and one more rotation there and it will be like this now select all the keyframes and uh, hit f9 to make it easy ease and uh, we have this one now let's animate the uh, inside circle again select the layer and uh, I will add a trim path uh, click on the stopwatch to make a, to add a keyframe and then move it here and we will set it to zero let's uh, run preview it I need to make it in the uh, reverse mode so uh, to do that you just need to open the ellipse one and uh, click on this icon and it will uh, reverse the the point okay so again we will do the same thing I will open the ellipse um, stroke I will set it to round round cap round join and uh, I will set a keyframe for the offset again I will rotate the offset to make uh, an interesting uh, rotation maybe this time like this 
okay and uh, let's move the first keyframe here and you can play with the the animation you have to experiment with that and uh, now I will select both layer and uh, hit you to reveal the keyframes and uh, I will move them there because first of all we need to start with the uh, uh, with the globe it should appear and uh, for that I will select the outside and the inside layer and uh, I will um, set a keyframe for radius on the CC sphere I will hit you to reveal the keyframe and I will set it to one second move it to one second and here I will set zero and I will do the same thing for the inside I will set a keyframe again for the radius hit you to reveal the keyframe move it to one second and then set it to zero and uh, now we have the rotating uh, globe You can experiment with uh, this technique and uh, make interesting uh, things. Before I go, I want to thank uh, this guy here. I really don't have any name. I don't have any email, but uh, he keeps sending me in uh, Google Forms. Really, he, he give me uh, some good ideas and uh, I want to thank you from, uh, from my heart. Thank you so much and see you in another After Effects tutorial.